Exactly. They all used to drive a Golf. Now the most successful European car ever is celebrating its 40th anniversary. At the Techno Classica show in Essen, the fans are congratulating the Golf personally with on-screen messages. Here's to an icon, a true trendsetter. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Lima Golf. Happy birthday to you. Congratulations to the Golf on 40 years. OK, 40 is not quite as old as we are, but like us, you've kept your looks at least. Here's to the next 40 years, and we're certainly going to have a lot more fun together. Ciao. Amazing that not even the professionals predicted the huge success of the Golf. All the facets of the Golf that we've experienced in these 40 years, all the way to today's one. Unbelievable. Because when they brought it to the market back then, I can tell you one thing, I'd never have thought we'd be here 40 years later with such a great history. It all began in 1974, when Germany won the World Cup for the second time. The Golf won a bombshell. Water instead of air cooling, inline instead of boxer engine, front instead of rear wheel drive. 1983. Helmut Kohl has been Chancellor for one year, and the Golf starts into round two. Now it's more spacious, the evolution of the Golf. 1991, Michael Schumacher celebrates his debut in Formula One, and the Golf? The maturing process inspires. The Golf 3 comes with a TDI engine, and also in the variant version for the first time. 1997, Robbie Williams becomes an international star, and the Golf 4 becomes a style icon. The sporty R32 hits the market. This Golf has a DSG for the first time. 2003, a sorcerer's apprentice named Harry Potter conquers kids' hearts, and the Golf 5 sets new standards in comfort, power, and quality. The redefinition. 2008, Barack Obama wins the presidential election, and the Golf looks clearer, finer, and more muscular. The sixth generation, a quantum leap. 2012, London hosts the 30th Olympic Games. Simultaneously, Volkswagen presents the Golf 7, the future. The e-Golf goes into serial production, soon followed by the first Golf with a plug-in hybrid, the GTE. A 40-year-long success story. The Golf, Das Auto at the Techno Classica. Almost everyone has their own personal memories. The Golf, war the Golf more or less symbolized a whole new era. It drove really well and still looks fantastic. I was born in the same year, so I can remember them being driven round when I was a kid, and I really liked them. It was something different, really. Everything was standardized back then, and it really stood out from the crowd. Happy Golf Day! You can join in too. Just send us your favorite golf story to volkswagen-classic.com.